With a preparation that requires no cracking, scrambling, poaching, or frying, hard-boiled eggs are about as simple as it gets. They're high in protein as well as loaded with essential vitamins and can be used in a variety of different dishes for all meals of the day. She's got a little hard-boiled egg going there. Oh, it's so cute. This is how long hard-boiled eggs are good for. It can seem like raw eggs stay fresh forever, and you might think that the same concept applies to eggs once they've been cooked. But that's not entirely correct. Hard-boiled eggs do have a best-by date, and they actually stay good for a shorter period of time than their fresh counterparts. One of the reasons for this is because when the eggs are boiled, the hot water removes the protective membrane called an egg bloom that surrounds the fresh egg. Once this layer is gone, it causes the egg to be more vulnerable to naturally occurring microorganisms in the environment, causing them to potentially spoil and go bad. Of course, this only applies to farm fresh eggs, as their commercial counterparts are cleaned after laying and before they're shipped to your grocer. Interestingly, this is why eggs need to be kept in your refrigerator. According to the Food and Drug Administration, hard-boiled eggs can be eaten for up to one week after they've been cooked. If you are going to store your eggs after cooking them, they should be still in the shell, as peeled hard-boiled eggs should be consumed consumed the same day that you cook them. Hard boiled eggs are great, but people don't order them. I don't know. You just find them in the fridge. It is recommended that you store them in the refrigerator in order to inhibit the growth of bad bacteria. They shouldn't be kept in a refrigerator door because that can cause the temperature of the egg to fluctuate due to the frequent opening and closing of the door. Because of the porous nature of the shell, you should also keep them away from pungent foods unless you want them to pick up the flavor of whatever dish is smelling strongly in your refrigerator. If you hard boil eggs often, it can also be helpful to write the cooking dates on the shell of each egg in order to remind yourself how long ago they were boiled. So, you now know about in-shell hard-boiled eggs, but what about dishes containing cooked eggs? Does the same one-week guidance apply? Not quite. Fortunately, the FDA provides guidelines for how to safely serve, store, and reserve egg-containing dishes. According to the FDA, cooked eggs and dishes containing eggs should be served immediately after cooking. If it's a hot egg dish that's going to be reheated after sitting in the fridge, be sure to bring it up to 165 degrees Fahrenheit before serving and refrigerate leftovers within two hours. And if it's a cold dish, plan to keep it on ice if it's going to be out in the open for more than two hours. The main idea when serving egg dishes is to keep them out of the 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit temperature window in which certain illness-causing bacteria can grow. So cold dishes should be served cold and hot dishes should be hot. Leftovers can be refrigerated but should be used within three to four days. One of the main health concerns around eggs is potential contact with salmonella. Salmonella is the name for a large group of bacteria. More than 2,500 variations exist, according to the Centers for Disease Control, but the number of types that infect humans is fewer than 100. Salmonella infections don't just come from raw eggs, either. Outbreaks of the bacteria have been linked to human contact with everything, from turtles to pet-bearded dragons. But the most common site of transmission for humans is contaminated food and water. If you happen to get a salmonella salmonella infection, you probably won't miss it. According to the FDA, most cases of salmonellosis result in such symptoms as vomiting, diarrhea, cramps, and fever within 12 to 72 hours. Fortunately, the illness usually runs its course within four to seven days and doesn't require a trip to the hospital. Severe cases of diarrhea, however, may need medical treatment. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.